Hello and welcome to a new topic what are types of novel explanation and examples so the first type is historical novel picaresque novel sentimental novel psychological novel pastoral novel and the last one is detective novel these are some of the six most important types of novels let's first discuss each one of them one by one and the first one is historical novel historical fiction sometimes we call historical novel and sometimes we call historical fiction is a literary genre where the story takes place in the past so in historical novel normally the story has to take place in the past because it narrates the story that happened in the past the next point it should take place during an authentic period in history and be set in a real historical place so what it means here is this that the story must take place in authentic period in history means that must have a real life historical connection and the whole atmosphere should be set in a real historical place we have some more ideas about historical novel the plot in a historical novel is a combination of real and fictional events combines both real and fictional incidents events to make it more interesting to the reader we can invent characters cities and events but they still must make sense to the time period you can do whatever you like but whatever imagination you have whatever the characters you portray the cities you create in historical novel at least they must make sense they must make meaning to the time in which you are going to write historical novel that is the point we continue we have some more ideas about historical novel the characters can be real fictional or both but they should all look speak and act in ways that accurately reflect the era as i told you could portray the real characters you may also portray fictional characters imaginative characters i mean to say but they must all look and speak and act in ways that resemble the real life characters the real life kings and queens the real life persons and so on we have some more ideas the dialogue must be authentic to the time period and should reflect the status of the characters who are speaking so the treatment of conversation the the way the characters speak the dialogue must also be authentic to the time in which the historical novel has been set that is the point here now we have examples of historical novel the most famous example of historical novel is war and peace by leo tolstoy then we have romola by George Eliot the third one is a tale of two cities by Charles Dickens here i have just enumerated three most famous examples of historical novel there are many we continue our discussion now we have picaresque novel picaresque novel is an early form of novel no need to explain we trace its origin in the early form of novel writing it is usually written in a first person narrative means normally it is written it is depicted in the first person like i or we like this it is related to the adventures of a rogue or low born adventurer as he drifts from place to place and from one social milieu to another in his effort to survive so normally picaresque novel refers to the adventures of a rogue kind of person a person whose social status is very low so picaresque novel normally depicts a character who is rogue in nature and quality and does not have higher social status that is the point here we have some more ideas about picaresque novel notrop defines the picaresque novel as a realistic portrayal of criminal life so it makes the point very clear that picaresque novel the characters come from lower level of social status it realistically portrays the criminality or the criminal aspect of the life of a person we continue in which criminals and their tricks constitute the chief source of interest so all types of tricks all types of deceptive tendencies we can find in the form of picaresque novel we continue our discussion examples of picaresque novel joseph andrews one of the best examples of picaresque novel by henry fielding we have another example the adventures of huckleberry finn by mark taiwan and the third one is 
the pickwick papers by charles dickens they are the most famous examples of picaresque novel we continue our discussion now we have sentimental novel what is this let's talk about the sentimental novel or the novel of sensibility is an 18th century literary genre normally we trace its origin in the 18th century it celebrates the emotional and intellectual concepts of sentiment so what we notice is that in the sentimental novel normally we celebrate emotions in a much more effective way we have some more points sentimental novel relies on emotional response both from the readers and characters so in sentimental novel when you read you feel emotionally attached with the characters you feel moved by incidents by the way the characters speak and so on so sentimental novel has the quality not only to move you emotionally as a reader but it also moves emotionally the characters in the story itself in the novel itself we have some more ideas about sentimental novel the sentimental novel exalts feeling above reason and raises the analysis of emotion to a fine art so it exalts it celebrates uh, the feeling above reason means the heart is more important the feeling is more important the emotions are more important sometimes emotions overrule the reason and the logic and then the writer raises this analysis of emotion to a beautiful fine art that becomes more impressive and attractive to the readers they feature scenes of distress and tenderness and the plot is arranged to advance both emotions and actions so in sentimental novel sometimes you can find characters who go through various types of sufferings and the distress sometimes you will have the tenderness of feeling in the characters in the relationships they make and so on and both help advance emotions and actions in the novel examples of sentimental novel pamela of virtue rewarded pamela is a very famous novel its another subtitle is virtue rewarded by samuel richardson we have another example the man of feeling by henry mckenzie then we have the third one the vicar of wakefield by oliver goldsmith these are some of the most famous examples of sentimental novel now we continue our discussion to the next psychological novel and what's this a psychological novel is also called psychological realism that is you write a novel in which you portray the mental state of a character which is very akin which is very much related to the real life incidents events and characters that's why we call psychological realism we have some more ideas the psychological novel is traditionally understood as a genre of prose fiction that focuses intensively on the interior life of characters representing their subjective thoughts feelings memories and desires reference the encyclopedia of the novel so what we come to understand is that it is a type of prose fiction in which we portray we focus upon the interior life of characters what the characters think what the characters feel and we try to express their subjective thoughts their subjective feelings memories and desires we don't go for analyzing the characters from objective point of view we want to portray the inner bent of thought of characters we have some more ideas about psychological novel in a psychological novel the emotional reactions and internal states of the characters are more important than external actions well though internal actions do have their own impact upon the external behaviors of the characters but in psychological novel our focus is more upon internal states of the minds of the characters we have some more ideas this emphasis on the inner life of characters is a fundamental element of a vast body of psychological fiction so internal life of characters is very very important is necessary in this genre of writing we have now examples of psychological novel the first is the portrait of a lady by henry james the second one is ulysses by james joyce and the third one is great expectations by charles dickens they are the most famous examples of psychological novel now we continue our discussion pastoral novel what is pastoral novel let's see pastoral novel class of fiction that presents the society of seaford as free from the complexity and corruption of city life 
So pastoral novel, the name itself suggests, it depicts the rural life of the characters. It depicts the society of shepherds, the farmers. The background is normally set in the village, in the countryside. And normally it is free from the complexity and the challenges and the difficulties and the problems of the city life. Because city life is more or less more corrupted, more advanced fast moving and pastoral life is very slow uh, in the midst of nature and it appeals to the heart and the mind. We have some more ideas. Pastoral novel is, to put it simply, deals with people living in the countryside, dealing with all the challenges and blessings of nature. We do have challenges in the village as well. We do have challenges in the countryside when we live. But the challenges that we face in the countryside is entirely different from the challenges we face in the complexity of the life of cities. So pastoral novel focuses more upon the way the characters live in the countryside and the challenges and the blessings they face in the form of the reflections of nature. We have examples of pastoral novel, Tess of the De Overvilles by Thomas Hardy is the most famous example of pastoral novel. We have another example, The Shepherd's Calendar by Edmund Spencer. And the last one, the third one is The Nun's Priest's Tale by Geoffrey Chaucer is another example of pastoral novel or pastoral type of writing. So these are some of the best examples of pastoral novel. Now we move on to the next, that is to say detective novel. What's this? Detective novel, a type of popular literature in which first a crime is introduced, well, then it is investigated and finally culprit is revealed. So three things are most important. A crime takes place, investigation is pursued and finally the culprit is held responsible for the crime he has committed. That is here in detective novel. We have five elements are generally included in detective novel. And what are those five elements? The first one is it must have perfect crime, then wrongly accused suspect. Then in the beginning of the story, we wrongly suspect another person. Third one is incompetent attitude of police. And normally the police are incompetent to find out the truth in detective novel. Greater powers of observation and superior mind of the detective. So since the police fail to investigate the crime in a perfect manner, in an objective manner, so the responsibility of the police is taken by the detective to find out the truth and investigate the crime. And the last one is surprising result. And that is what makes detective novel very interesting, that the result is very surprising at the end. We have examples of detective novels. Sherlock Holmes, very famous example of detective novel by Arthur Conan Doyle. The Moonstone by Wilkie Collins. And the third example is The Moving Twy Shop by Edmund Crispin. These are some of the best examples of detective novels. Now we have time to discuss questions. Explain briefly the following historical novel. Second is psychological novel. And the third is pastoral novel. Explain each one of them briefly. We have another type of questions. That is to say, explain any one of them in detail. And the first one is pastoral novel. The second one is picaresque novel. And the third one is sentimental novel. You have to write about any one of them in detail. And the third one is write five elements that are necessary to be included in detective novel. And hope you understand the concept. Thank you and goodbye.